There is a major change to the St. Charles streetcar line here in New Orleans. For the very first time, it's accessible for people who use a wheelchair. The change comes after a lawsuit was filed against the city and the RTA four years ago. WDSU reporter Aubrey Killian joins us live uptown this afternoon with this story. Aubrey. Hey, so here at the RTA, they say they've got three cars and 12 new stops that are finally wheelchair accessible. The big changes just started today. So check out this video while city leaders were celebrating the major change to the streetcar line. Keep in mind, back in 2016, local attorney Andy Beiser says he and several people using wheelchairs filed suit pushing for the streetcars on the St. Charles route to be ADA compliant. Now, before today, only the red cars on the canal line were accessible for people using wheelchairs. And while it is an improvement, some people who use wheelchairs say the city, it is still not where it needs to be. I fell, I fell off the uh, sidewalk trying to access it because it, they didn't have no, no ramp on around the uh, corners or anything. The biggest thing is still sidewalks and like not having curb cutouts or big, I guess, <laughs> big bumps in it and stuff. It's so hard, I mean, for us to get up it and down it, I mean, and it's not, a lot of times it's not even smooth, not even quick for wheelchairs, I mean, but wheelchairs got to be smooth, I mean, you got long bumps, holes, in the sidewalk and stuff, I mean, all that got to be straight. scary sometimes? Oh yeah, it's a lot scary when you're in a wheelchair, when it's not accessible. So the RTA says the changes cost about a half million dollars and coming up on WDSU News at four o'clock, much more on the city's push to make New Orleans more wheelchair accessible.